What is going on everybody? Thank you guys for tuning into another video. My name is Adam, your host of Adam Finance. Today we're going to be talking about the courses I take at Arizona State University as I'm studying industrial engineering for my bachelor's. So if you guys are interested in this video, interested in what I'm studying right now, please stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this content, please let me know down in the comments. Please leave a thumbs up on the video and make sure you guys subscribe for future content. Like with any other engineering major, you're going to be taking those general education classes such as chemistry, physics, and calculus. You're going to have to do those no matter if you like math or not. You're going to have to take that with industrial engineering too. Along with those general education classes, there's going to be a set of core requirements for your specific degree. For me, right now I've taken um, principles of programming, Java, that's CSC 110. I've also taken CSC 205, which is object-oriented programming with Java. My first semester here, I took a IE 210 course, which is basically an intro to industrial engineering. You learn about Pareto charts, the history of industrial engineering, not too hard of a class. It just gives you the background on all of what you're going to be learning for future semesters. Very interesting. I actually kind of liked it. The next IE course I took was IE 300, Economic Analysis for Engineers. Basically, this is a finance course. You learn about like... Uh, future worth, present value, uh, all those types of financial calculations that are pretty helpful down the road. If you're doing data analytics, if you're gonna go into real estate, very, very interesting course, and it uh, opened my eyes to a lot of different financial functions on my calculator and things that are gonna help me in the future. The next course I took for IEE was IEE 380, which is Engineering, Probability, and Statistics. Let me, guys, let me tell you guys, this class is pretty difficult. If you like stats and you like probability, it might be a little easier for you, however, it's definitely not my forte. I don't love doing it. So I just got through it. I got a B in that class. Definitely not the most fun thing in the world, but it's also kind of interesting at the same time. Along with these IE courses, I had to take a MAT 242 course, which is basically linear algebra. It's just an introduction course because in a lot of your other semester courses, you're gonna be doing a lot, a lot of linear algebra. The courses I'm taking this semester are pretty rigorous. Um, definitely maxing out on my credits. But the first one is IE 305. It's Engineering Information Systems. It's pretty interesting. Kind of goes through a lot of databases, a lot of data analytics. So it's kind of something that interests me, which is why I really enjoy the course. A pretty easy class that I tossed into this semester was IE 320, which is basically an extreme Excel class, which really just like immerses you, immerses your mind into Excel for a couple weeks. And you learn all these different crazy functions in there, how you can actually use some of the stuff that you, you learn in IE 380 and apply it to Excel, which is awesome. Um, I think all engineers should take an Excel course because you're going to be using it for the rest of your life. Another course that I'm registered for this semester is IE 369. It's Work Analysis and Design. Uh, this is a class that a lot of people who have told me is one of the best classes they've ever taken. It's what made them fall in love with IE, uh, Industrial Engineering because it's actually a lab class. So you're really putting all the things you've learned into a lab, you're doing hands-on activities, process improvement, 5S standard. So it's actually really interesting so far at week five, I can say I actually really like the course. The next course I'm taking in industrial engineering major is IE 376, which is basically industrial systems applications with deterministic operations research techniques. This class is hard as hell, <laughs> let me tell you. This class is so difficult. Over the past five weeks, I've been nonstop grinding in this course, trying to keep up with the material. It is a lot of stuff they throw at you at ASU. I don't know how it is at other courses, other schools, but this course is a lot of material in a very short amount of time, so just keep that in mind. The next course that I take is IE 385, which is a continuation of IE 380 but 385 is more about the statistics side of engineering. So it's kind of interesting, it's a very hard class. I'm definitely not looking forward to the midterm. However, um, that's one of the classes I'm taking. Along with all of that and along with my career focus, I still have to take a couple industrial engineering classes. I've got to take quality control, production control, st uh, simulating stochastic systems, capstone one, capstone two, and stochastic operations research. It's gonna definitely be a very busy next couple semesters for me. However, I think in the end, it's all gonna be worth it. Uh, I think I can get through all of it within the next year and a half, two years. I'm not too worried about when I graduate. I do have some positions lined up for me after school, which is always good to know. However, I do not wanna be here for too long, um, but yeah, it's doable. If this is a video that you really liked and really enjoyed, please leave a comment down below. 
Let me know what you guys want to see next time. Please leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe. I really love making these videos for you guys. It keeps me motivated and the comments just help me make more content for you, which you guys all want to see. So again, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.